Hello and welcome to the application features chapter of the Siebel 22 workshop. My name is Alexander Hansal and I'm happy that you can join me for this presentation. In this presentation we are going to look at selected application features and enhancements that Oracle has added over the years, spanning loosely IP16 to the current release at the time of recording. This is 22.1. So we will look at enhanced list navigation options, mouse wheel support, multi-tab browsing, auto-tile visualizations, chart applets with d3.js, screen icons, home page changes, and themes available with modern versions of Siebel. Let's go back a few years to IP16, the last innovation pack before the infamous IP17, which introduced a lot of changes and is the subject of the Siebel 22 workshop. So if you cover the gap by for example, upgrading from a version prior to IP16, such as maybe IP14 or even earlier versions such as 7.5 or Siebel 8, you will inherit these features also if you upgrade to a recent version of Siebel, of course. So in IP16, Oracle introduced something we call Elastic List applet. So unlike in previous versions of Siebel CRM, the list applet height now adapts to the records that are actually displayed. So if there's only one record, the list applet grid is only one record high. And if there's 10 records, which is the default standard size for list applet, there's 10 records and the list applet will start paging. So you can click buttons to go to the next record set. Also, Oracle enhanced the quick search feature, which is present in OpenUI applications. Uh, so if you upgrade from a non-OpenUI application, you will find on each list applet the quick search feature, which allows a user to select a column in the basic functionality and then enter a search term. And the application will run a query for that search term on that column. In IP16, however, there was a slight change so that the user can not select the column, so they can basically opt out of the column selection, still enter a search term, and the query will search for that term across all visible columns. So that is an important change, and of course, you need to be aware that this query will, of course, be very taxing on the database, and it could be resulting in slow performance. The responsive labels feature is has been added to form applets and in the default configuration, driven by a system preference, by the way, called enable responsive label, the form applet will display labels as the placeholder text for an input control and no label besides the control. So the form applets look a bit weird to say the least if users are not prepared for this. And this is a feature you can turn off using a system preference. Also, you will notice in versions IP16 and higher, a very subtle red border on applets when changes have been made by the user but are not yet saved. So this is called the pending changes indicator. The application menu is replaced by an arrow button. So that is only visible on smaller screens. So when the screen is small, the menu is collapsed and you can use the arrow button to actually expand it and see the menu again. In addition, honorable mentions here, IP16 introduced enhancements for the search and find feature as well as the calendar. So if you plan your upgrade from versions prior to IP16, be ready for these changes and educate your teams and end users. In IP17 and higher, so when you do the upgrade to anything higher than IP17, such as Siebel 22, you will notice that the 
navigation buttons on the bottom of list applets have actually changed the record wise navigation button to navigate from one record to the other have been removed. So the only buttons that are left is a pair of buttons that navigates by record set and a pair of buttons that navigates to the first or last record set respectively. The aforementioned buttons for record set navigation can be pressed and held uh, by holding the mouse button down while clicking them, the applet will start scrolling through the record sets. Of course, again, uh, the fetch operations on the database can be very taxing and you should avoid excessive scrolling for sure. However, we have found that keyboard shortcuts that exist for record-wise navigation still work in SIBO IP17 and higher, so users have a keyboard shortcut option there. And a recent update at the time of this recording, just a few months ago, 21.10, introduced the support for mouse wheel scrolling. So you can place your mouse cursor over the grid section of a list applet and use the mouse wheel to scroll by record set or pages. Another feature that you will encounter or can optionally enable when you have upgraded to a modern Siebel version is multi-tab browsing. So this allows users to open multiple sessions in multiple tabs in the same browser, something which is not possible in earlier versions of Siebel CRM. So administrators need to enable this by a server component parameter and settings in the application interface profile. It is important to understand that this is results in multiple sessions for the same user, much like if the user would use different devices or different browsers or incognito windows of the same browser on to open several application sessions. It's not the same session that you open in multiple tabs. Another enhancement in the user interface area that is optional, so it's not enabled by default, is the auto tile visualization. So Oracle has introduced tile visualization in various applets, and this feature now allows developers to define a user property on the applet level for single applets or on the application level for the entirety of all applets across the application. The user property is called enable auto tile and if set to true the list applets will show tiles for the, rec for the records instead of the usual grid. Uh, each tile will by default show the first nine visible list columns, if there are nine columns, so more columns are not shown. And there is another user property on the applet level called item pref for auto tile, and you set it to a comma separated list of the web template item identifiers, the placeholders for the list columns, to identify the sequence and visibility of fields on the individual tiles. If you work with chart applets, which are a feature that exists in Siebel for a long time, uh, in Siebel version 18.7, Oracle changed the browser side rendering engine to data-driven documents, or T3, one of the most established and most versatile free JavaScript data visualization libraries that is available on the internet. So Oracle chose that to allow their own developers and custom developers to better control the data visualization capabilities of chart applets and that can be used to create impressive custom charts. If you open an IP17 or higher application for the first time, you will notice the subtle change of 
the screen tab icons, which are now in color. And also the home pages have so-called counter features on the list applets, as you can see for the example service request list and the orders on the screenshot. IP17 and higher introduce two new themes at the time of this recording. So in addition to the Aurora theme introduced in IP14 and the Synergy theme introduced in IP15, we now have two more themes based on the Synergy theme actually. So the vanilla theme shown on the left was introduced with IP17, 17.0, and the sky blue theme shown on the right was introduced with 18.7. So in higher versions, we have a total of four standard desktop themes. So in this presentation, we looked at several application features introduced by Oracle in versions IP16 and higher. So this information is provided to prepare developers and end users alike for the differences between earlier versions of Siebel CRM and the most recent versions. Thanks for watching, take care and bye bye.